at the Callahan's Corner, where you ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook. So in the Service Autopilot's members group, uh, about 20 minutes or about 20 hours ago, there was a question asked. Um, uh, a gentleman, a lady was new to Service Autopilot um, and had some questions around uh, a circumstance of a, probably a Southern uh, market where they want to be able to bill on an installment plan, a flat rate of $140 from March to October. And then during the winter months, they visit the properties biweekly and the bill for that specific client was $40 a visit. Uh, they've set up the master schedules for year round um, and entered contact pricing from March to October. How do I handle the biweekly portion uh, of the year? So what I'm gonna do is kind of break this down uh, from front to back, how you would tackle this. And then uh, hopefully this will happen help this person make sure they've got all the processes set up inside Service Autopilot. So uh, as usual, I'm going to open the screen up here momentarily and show you what we're looking at here. So I'm going to pull up Service Autopilot and show you how to uh, break this down. So first thing I would suggest doing is we need to create that master schedule. So we want to go into the gear icon and go into master schedule, not package or route, master schedule. And I'm gonna call this my uh, Facebook Live contract year round. And once again, if you're just uh, looking at this, basically we wanna go from creating an installment billing from March to October, and then November to the end of the year, uh, it's a biweekly service going in, uh, build out a flat rate. So what we're looking at here is we probably want to look at our March area here. And this is weekly. So let's just say this is a weekly Monday visit. And then starting in uh, November, they went to bi-weekly. And we'd have these months here. So now we've got our weekly from March through October. And then our every other week, November through uh, the beginning of March again. So we're going to save and generate that master schedule. So that's going to be the master schedule saved. And you want to do that uh, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you have it just so you can see how we've done our weekly Monday through Friday here. So now that we have that, uh, probably the next thing is just on a high level, I'm going to create two generic services so we can uh, see what this looks like. Uh, but if this person is new to service autopilot, or you just need a refresher, it's not a bad idea. So we're going to go into the gear icon services. And I'm going to create two services. And, and this is what you're going to want to do in this account. So we're going to add this in. And I'm going to also call this a Facebook Live service just so we can find it quickly. And this would be uh, weekly. I'm going to call it weekly maintenance. And as you're starting out, you're going to need a code. Is it taxable or ta not taxable? Uh, service mode, I'm going to go per unit, invoice description, we want to select a chart of accounts and an estimate description. Uh, traditionally, you want to go into the rate matrix and build that out um, to have production rate based estimating, but that is uh, not what we're doing in this video. But there's several other videos we've made at Callahan's Corner, we can check that out. But as a bare minimal, we want to create that weekly service that's going through go through March through uh, end of October. And then uh, we're going to save a new and create a service uh, for the biweekly maintenance. This is that winter maintenance. Once again, we need a code per unit. I'm gonna use for service mode, estimate description, chart of accounts for QuickBooks if you're using it, uh, and estimates here. And that will give us what we need. So now that we have this built out, I've set up my Reoccurring weekly and my bi-weekly service, I've gone into the gear icon master schedules and created a Monday through Friday, each one of those um, with that timing so we can go in and schedule those. And now what we're going to do is go in 
and go into our test account and actually set this up. So first thing we want to do is go in and add a contract. Now the example for this fictitious client was $140 a month from March to October and then a bi-weekly service that was billed out per visit. So there's two different uh, things that we need to do. So we need to add a contract and then we also need to set up uh, the scheduling portion of this. So I can show you what this is going to look like here in a minute. Um, so first thing you need to do is the contract name. So this would be a uh, yearly maintenance contract. Uh, start date is going to be, and let's do this for 2021. So March 1st of 2021, and it's going to end the end of October here. And we got to put a line item. So I'm going to put uh, Facebook Live maintenance con or summer maintenance contract. So we know that it's just for the summer. And the question here, if I'm reading it correctly, is that they want to bill out forty dollars per visit um, per month thereafter for the winter. So we're only going to catch a installment billing then, really from March. I'm going to put it in January, hit autofill, but it's going to be quicker to delete these out. So I'm going March all the way through the end of October. Now, what I would probably recommend is if you want, put this for the first day of the month, and you could bill one month in advance if you want. And if there's sub-properties, we can include those. So the idea is you've got this here, and then under actions, I want to add a contract item. And our Facebook Live weekly maintenance is going to be included in there. Now, if there's a cap of how many visits you actually will include in the weekly maintenance, you would put this in here. So maybe it is 38 visits, and we'd want to alert someone if the condition was greater or equal to 38 visits to uh, make sure we don't go over that contractual amount. We can have it signed to a personal role. Uh, if it was an hourly contract, you could also do the same alert of hours as well. So, and do we charge for this? Yes, if quantity is over, visits are over, that's a determination that you can make there on the fly. But the idea is you need the installment billing set up, you need the name of the contract, the invoice line item, and hit save. Now, once you have that set up, you've got a live contract here. So I've got to select a service here, and I'm just going to call it lawn mowing just for uh, time speak. But when we hit save, once we have this now, We've got a contract for installment building. Now, the second part of the question is, I've got a um, an additional charge of $40 per visit on a biweekly basis from uh, November through uh, the rest of the week. So the idea here is you, you probably want to go in and add a job. And actually, thinking about this, you'd probably have two master schedules. So let's do the first one and see what this looks, about, looks at here, because I just did this on the fly. Uh, but we're going to add a reoccurring job and let's set up the summer uh, weekly first and then we'll go in there. So what we're going to do is add a contract and it's going to be part of our yearly maintenance contract. So that was the weekly service, but not the bi-weekly. And we're going to select the schedule of our Facebook Live contract. So actually, we should be able to do that. So it's going to be starting the initial start date. And I'm going to say, let's go in and start this next year where it should start. So March 2021 on the Monday. And we're also going to start reoccurring on that day as well. And the service is our Facebook Live weekly maintenance. And it's going to start on March and be done of the weekly part of it um, after that. So we're going to go in and put in the rate. Um, so it was $140 a, a week or for this client. So what you really want to do is a lot of people will be tempted to put a $0 value in here. Um, so what we're going to do is really going to go in here and take the 140 and divide that by, uh, let's call it 4.33. So that's how many average weeks are in a month. So it's $32 and 33 cents. And let's say our goal per hour is 45. So we divide that by 45. That's 0.71 hours. So 32.33.
and 0.71 man hours is the time that we would want to have in there. So 32.33 and 0.71 man hours. The budget hours are always based on one person. Uh, we don't need to put a start and stop time in it, but if you're in the home cleaning industry and you want to put a start and stop slot in there, that's where you would do as far as time. Um, and we have that in here. So now what we've done is we've hit save. And um, that's going to be under that contract. So actually, you probably can just go in and add the service right to the same line item. Here's I'm thinking about it. So we'd go in and get our Facebook Live biweekly maintenance. And that is going to start in November 1st and start recurring November 1st as well. So what you've got here, and that is a $40 per visit charge. And I'm going to take that same 40 and divide it by 45 bucks an hour if that's what their goal was. So maybe we've got a 0.88 budgeted hours here for that job. So what's happened here now is that we've set up a, a reoccurring service. Um, and if we know the crew assignments, we can stick that in there already. Let's say we're going in and doing it for maintenance crew one here and maintenance crew one as well. It's a reoccurring service for both of them um, there. Now, if you're consolidating your crews in the winter because you're not doing as much work, you could have a separate crew assignment. But the idea is your weekly maintenance here is part of the contract. So it's going to not bill out the 3233, but the Facebook Live biweekly maintenance is not part of the installment and that we build up and above that on a daily, weekly, or biweekly basis, depending on how you have set up your estimates set up or your billing set up inside Service Autopilot. We'd go in and hit save. And now you can see the start dates going in for that year round contract with the different frequency of weekly and biweekly and how it would line up the billing other the installment contract or not the installment. And the key is when you're in that contract here, and I pulled up the wrong contract here, so I'll pull up the exact one so you can see it as an example, is that service at the bottom under the actions tab is signifying what services are included in this contract. So only the weekly maintenance, not the biweekly maintenance. So this will help you uh, create more of a Southern model year round scheduling uh, with installment billing and per visit uh, as well. So a lot of times somebody may have a set fixed amount for the landscape maintenance contract, but it doesn't include maybe the pruning of trees that are 10 or 15 feet or above, especially in a Southern market like palm trees, um, that can be built up and above the actual installment contract as well. So uh, that is going to be um, how you do it. And under the, uh, under job contract, this is uh, what's underneath that too. So comments and questions, drop them below Callahan's corner. You ask the questions. We answer them live right here on Facebook. So uh, always happy to help out anybody in the service autopilot ecosystem or in the service industry uh, in general. But uh, this one particularly came out of the service autopilots user group. So um, shortly after this live video, I'll be reposting it in that group to help the individual ask the question. Callahan's Corner, you ask the questions. We answer them live right here on Facebook.